So, um, so what we need to know is some important trials which have been done for ECMO. Like you had a, a CSER trial. In CSER trial, they saw that the patients on ECMO survival rate was almost 63%, whereas in the normal conventional therapy, the survival rate was 47% at six months. And the mortality, immediate mortality was 30% in the ECMO group and 53% in the uh, ventilator group. In uh, UK, when the H1N1 um, uh, pandemic, uh, epidemic had come, the ECMO survival was 76% versus a conventional care uh, regimen which showed a survival of 49%. So you have uh, uh, ECMO CPR also, which is a stand, uh, adjunct to standard CPR. And this is the CHEER trial, which has showed that the ECMO CPR helped in better uh, uh, stabilization of the patient and better recoveries. Finally, it's a team which works in the ECMO. You know, only one person can't run an ECMO uh, program. So you have uh, ECMO intensivist, a person who's trained in ECMO. You have cardiothoracic surgeons for cannulation. It's always better that they do it. You have one medical officer who monitors the cannula position by echo. So your medical officers who are monitoring patients on ECMO should know echo. Then you have a perfusionist who's doing the ECMO priming and maintenance. You have a respiratory therapist or physiotherapist who's uh, also helping you with the patient, your nurses and the radio technician team. So it is the entire teamwork which works in an ECMO. How long can you keep the patient in ECMO? See, also data has shown that patient has been kept even for 117 days and the patient came out. But the average VV ECMO stays for 14 to 21 days and the VA ECMO stays for 5 to 14 days. 